Today I wanted to show you how I make my tape cassette purses. I think this is fun for everybody and a great recycle project. Here are some examples. I've taken lots of little tiny stickers and I just suck it all over. I thought it was really cute. And I used doorknobs to hold this belt on. And I filled them with uh, red felt or black, whatever color you want. And my little girl takes the tape cassette covers and she makes little wallets. They're really cute. I'm going through my stash and you need 12 tapes. And uh, you can decide what color you want to do. You know, I like to try to find all white ones. Those are my favorite ones, but all the white ones are always a different shade of white and they don't quite go together. And the clear ones are pretty cool. You can clean them up and sometimes get the writing off of them using alcohol. Um, and pull the stickers off or you can cover them up and make your own. Okay, to make your purse, you'll need uh, one of these little flush cut saws. You can get them anywhere. They're pretty cheap, about five, six dollars. Quick grip glue. I think this is the best for what we need for this project. And then, like I said, 12 tape cassettes. And I just grabbed 12 white ones real quick to show you what I'm going to do. Take them all, line them up how you want them. Um, sometimes I like to also make sure all side twos are showing or there's a theme, like I make sure I have all certain bands on one side and stuff. And then if you, if you don't mind, you have the, your bottom ones that you can, uh, no one's going to see because they'll be on the bottom. And then your side ones should always match up and be similar for your sides. And the secret to making this purse is after you line up what you want and where it's going to be, is you take your saw and you cut these little tabs off. And it's really not that hard. Okay, you should, uh, after you cut all your edges, you don't have to cut them all, just the ones that are going to hit together. All of them on one side. You want to put a nice sand on them so that you'll have a, a good surface for your glue to stick to. And put them all together in twos, except for your sides, which you'll keep set aside. And be careful, because this glue will, will push out, and you don't want to see it through your top, because it's really hard to clean it off. After you have all your two pieces dried, you want to make them um, in the two walls. And it's very important when you glue these, and after you, you know, sand them and you glue these together, to make sure these line up perfectly, because you want them to be pretty straight and even, and get them all right. And set that aside and let it dry. Now while you're waiting for your one side to dry, take your other side that's already dry, and you're going to add your bottom piece. And I always suggest putting the thick side down first, because it makes a big difference when you put the other one on. If you don't have the right width, it's going to be off, and the thick parts will hit, and it'll be crooked. So put your always start with your thick piece down first. And this quick dry is pretty fast. Oops. Before you put the top on, put the sides on. So you make a nice box and make sure your thick part is always down. Now line this one up more to the top and then give it all a nice squish down. It's because what the top will be level and let that set up for a second so that it starts getting tacky and holds and then you're just going to make sure it's level and sits right. There you go, you have your purse. Now I just measured the insides, cut out some uh, felt, and glue it in there. Use these holes and you could put a bolt and nut through a belt. Another thing I've done is I used a ribbon belt and glued it in. 
I don't know how strong it is, but it's lasted up quite quite some time now. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Tammy Walker, and we just made tape cassette purses. And if you're interested in seeing other things I do, look at BoxyQueens.com. Thank you.